You know, every morning we've been hearing from officials, community leaders, and researchers about changes they would like to see in the community. And new this morning, we're hearing from a protester and activist who is actively working and speaking with other protesters about the changes they want to see happen. Elise Haas joins us live with her story. Good morning, Elise. Good morning, Emily and Jenny. So as an African, indigenous, and a white woman, this activist that I met with tells me that she has always been interested in human rights her whole life. So she has since went on to study it along with international law for the past decade. And it's also notable that this demonstrator was actually born and raised in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So the killing of George Floyd struck her to her core. And as a trauma researcher, Gia Navarajo Rivera has been interested in interviewing demonstrators during the Portland's protest to collect a list of concrete asks or demands. She's seen calls for body cameras for all officers at all times, a deep need for accountability for everyone along the chain of commands that is complicit and systemic harm, including prosecutors, district attorneys, and coroners. She says it's important that the community is brought in to help make these very changes. We do need to go to the root and hopefully convene several community councils of brilliant leaders who are out here, brilliant black and brown and indigenous leaders, uh, and have roundtables for them to determine the solutions that would be adequate for them. As a doctoral student at Johns Hopkins Public Health, Gia explains that in addition to going to experts on racial equity and social justice for data, it's also important to honor and listen to the expertise of the people who have lived through these experiences. For generations and centuries, Gia believes that our system have suppressed those voices. So she says now is a time that city leaders should really be leaning on the voices of the black, indigenous, and people of color as a source of knowledge. Emily and Jenny.